After more than a decade before the courts, Albertans who were abused while in foster care finally got some compensation today. Shalima Maharaj joins us from the newsroom. So Shalima, what were the terms agreed to today? Well, Nancy, essentially what this means is the plaintiffs, and there are potentially hundreds of them, can make a claim for compensation from Alberta's Victims of Crime Fund. They have to have been abused while they were a permanent ward of Alberta Child Welfare from July 1st, 1966 to February 19th, 2008, or under a temporary guardianship order from July 1st, 1985 to February 19th, 2008. And Michael Peerless with Mackenzie Lake, who reached the settlement agreement with the province, said as many as 2,000 people may be eligible, and that means the total payout could be in the range of 30 to $50 million. But each individual claimant would receive an average of about fifteen to thirty thousand dollars, far less than some believe they would get when this case was first brought forward. It's not like the Indian residential schools case. It's it's a it's not about cultural genocide and things like that. It's just about the ability to make claims and. Uh, and so it, it is a successful lawsuit, and I think many people um, understand that. It's just that some people, for one reason or another, were misled about exactly what the case was about. That's also really important to note that there is another $7.5 million set aside to compensate claimants who aren't eligible to make a claim to the Victims of Crime Fund. Those claims could range from $500 to $110,000 per person to address their injuries from sexual and physical abuse. All right, thank you, Shalima. And Human Services Minister Irfan Sabir issued a statement late this afternoon saying he is pleased the settlement is moving forward and hopes it provides a sense of closure to those who are victims of crime before coming into or while in the government's guardianship.